Hello there, my name is Julio Lazarte. Welcome to Athletic Ballroom Dance. Today we're going to be talking about effort and this is not the LMA kind of effort. You can take it that way, but we're going to be talking about effort in the gym, effort in the studio, effort in your life. What I mean by that is how much effort are you putting into all of that? How much effort are you putting into your nutrition? We talked about that before. How much effort are you putting into your workouts if you're doing them? Do you feel like you can uh, do an extra three more reps at the very end of your set? See what I'm getting there? So you should be able to push through that. Push through that failure and push through the those numbers that you have in your head, right? So yeah, I want to get 10, 12, 15 reps. But if you can do more than that, then just do it or achieve that failure, especially when it comes down to um, working out. When it comes down to dance, how much effort are you putting into it? How much time are you spending in the studio just working on your craft, working on your technique, working on your actions? How much time and thought are you putting into your body movement? And how much of the nutrition are you putting in, in your body? What is the effort in that part of uh, your life? But also, what type of effort do you have? Do you think you have? Is it going to be more direct or indirect? Now that's like the LMA part. When it comes down to that, how focused are you? Are you just going through the motions? Or are you just really thinking on what you're doing? And this comes down to our philosophy, I would say, where you have to think that your body and your mind are one, right? They're, yeah, you can argue they're two separate things, but they're one. Same with our whole body. Our whole body is just one huge chain. That's why if your knee hurts, you're going to have like hip problems, you're going to have back problems, or even like if your foot hurts, right? So all of that is just going to affect different parts of your body because all of it is just connected. And same with your body and your mind. Those are two things that we all, all uh, we often uh, have them separate, but we should think of them as one. And when you combine both of them, how much effort are you putting into both of them? Are you only focusing on your body and you're not, not thinking about what you can do for your mind and your spirit, if you if you would like to call it? These are two things that I have been uh, trying to incorporate more into my life. And uh, I'm not saying that you should. It's like, yeah, go all out. Go read books while you are working out. While that is... Uh, something that a lot of people do and tend to say like, yeah, like it really works for me. I feel like you need to come down to uh, what you feel is best, right? A lot of people can tell you this is what's best for you. But if you don't think that is best for you, then you won't do it. You won't put that effort in your life and that effort in your workout or your dancing or your life, right? So there's a lot of people saying like, yeah, 100%. 200%, 500%, go all in. And if you don't have that mentality, if you don't have the same mentality and you just want to try it out, still that's like a different effort, right? Instead of going all in, balls to the wall, or just, hey, let me just dip my toes and see like what I think. <clears throat> so I would say, think about that mentality that effort, that quality of movement, of, um, of body, con body connectivity. So if your whole body is connected, if you understand that your whole body is one, if you uh, feel that your body and your mind are one, and now I know this sounds like very hippie and very like peace and love too, they're one. Well, it sounds like that, but it's something that makes sense in my head. And I just wanted to share that with you. Share this um, uh, different kind of mentality, mentality that you can have. Where your whole body is one. Where your uh, body and mind 
are one. Everything is connected. Everything comes in. And of course it branches out, but it comes in at one point. And this is just another short video of me talking about what I think. Of course, I'm not a philosopher, I'm not a professional yet, but these are some of, some of the things that I feel like are helping me uh, becoming a better self, have a better attitude towards things, and towards reaching those goals, right? So everybody has different goals and the way how you approach them. I think that is what... Uh, that is why effort comes into place. How much effort you're putting into those things. How much effort you're putting into your goals. As always, keep dancing and have a great workout. I'll see you in the next video.